Hey folks, Jonathan again. I showed you my other uh, little steam engine in another video and uh, told you I had this F.E. Myers and I was going to start on it, so I think that's what we're going to do here. Uh, I bought this at an auction and a few years back had an electric motor on it. Took it apart, cleaned all the valves, got it all working, and actually pumped a little bit of water with it just playing around. You can see the, the spring loaded valves and rubbers and there's not much to them. Uh, it's got two intake valves, two exhaust valves, and uh, or two to bring the water in, two to send the water out. I mean, it's just it's a pretty simple setup. Uh, the problem with these are for a steam engine, you want your, and I'm assuming because I'm not a steam expert by any means, but the steam chest needs to be closer to the cylinder because if not, you would be having to fill up, you know, a pretty good compartment you know both ways and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart I think I'm going to try to figure out a way to block these both bottom off and then I'm going to cut this cylinder across and uh, now if this was some rare pump or something like that it'd be a little different you know I wouldn't be wouldn't be doing this you got we got a nice surface down here too to to mill down too but uh, I wouldn't be doing this but uh, you know these pumps are just about a dime a dozen they're they're around every once in a while you'll see them on eBay and you know people want big money for them, but you know then you'll find them cheap sometimes. So uh, you know they're just it's just an old shallow water well pump is what it is, and and uh, you know really pretty nice flywheels on them, and and uh, this is a good smooth runner. But uh, like I said, I think it's about a two inch stroke on this one, and it's got a bigger piston than the other one. Maybe we'll get a little bit more power out of it, but I'm going to go ahead and get these valves out and get it. You know, take it apart, look in here, and then, uh, and uh, I've had, of course, I had them out before and made new gaskets and everything, but we're going to take them back out and I'm going to see what we can do about, you know, what we need to do about machining it and capping them off and, and uh, maybe getting this thing together. So I'll show you more here in a few minutes when I know something. Okay, we got it apart here, and uh, what this done is it actually it sucked the water in from the bottom side and uh, through the valves and came up and then the piston would it, the valve would shut and the piston would actually push it up through so and come out here and uh, so it just traveled through but we just need to get this blocked off and uh, this port and then we need to block off the port on this end and then uh, we can actually leave this stuff here and you know just put our caps back on for looks and then uh, machine off the top and uh, build our slide valve you know just about right here and uh, that'll keep our slide valve and everything and it's close to it so you, you're not filling up a big chamber full of uh, steam before it gets into the to the engine and uh, so I think that's going to work for us uh, and we'll make the we'll get this off and we'll make the steam chest and then uh, we'll make the D valve which is the valve the the block that goes over top and, and covers your holes back and forth and uh, I think we can uh, so we can get where you can see there I think we can work with that. Okay, we've got it cut off. Now we're going to machine the top. And uh, this has got some brass inserts, and we're probably just going to leave them in there. We end up making a plate to go over top 
and then we'll put our slots in it for our D-valve to go across and uh, you know open each end and close it. Uh, exhaust I think we'll end up probably drilling through here and maybe bringing it out in this hole and uh, because you want one port for the front of your cylinder one port for the rear of your cylinder and then your exhaust in the middle and that D-valve when it goes over it covers these two and uh, it lets steam come in the front one here and then when it slides up this way it covers these two it lets this one exhaust into here and lets your steam pressure come in this end and that's all it's doing is, is transferring back and forth and your steam chest is, which will be above this is always pressurized and uh, the pressure of the steam or the air or steam whichever you're using is actually puts the pressure on the back side of the D-valve to hold it down and uh, on the other one I've got an oak cylinder in there but I think you know we'll build this one out of something different and uh, but like I said we're going to machine this off and then we'll end up making a plate that will go over top of this and then uh, we'll put our slots in it we're going to maybe use rectangle slots and uh, the other one's got small round holes and I think you know we open it up a little bit and get more steam into it it might be a little better and uh, I'll machine that off and get started on the plate and I'll show you more as I go okay we got this thing clamped down on my well jig board it's not really a vertical mill but uh, my Gordon I've got set up uh, to do my hub so we're gonna use this small one here and uh, we'll go ahead and get it get it surfaced off here before we before we make the flight Okay, folks, I got her cleaned up her a little bit. My only worry with this thing, I wanted to get these, the slide valve and the inlet for the steam as close to that cylinder as I can get it. And uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of port there. So I don't know how this is going to work out. Uh, we're going to try it either way. I mean, it's it's not a big deal. It's still going to run. It just may not be as efficient as I'd like. But uh, like I said, we still have to close off these bottoms, uh, these bottom holes, and then we'll uh, put these caps back on there, and we'll put the the cross piece that goes across it back on it just to make it make it look good. And uh, what we're going to do up here, I'm going to use this port here as an exhaust port. And what I'll do is I'll come through and drill a hole and uh, drill an angle through here and come out into this inside of the wall of the cavity here. And that'll give us an exhaust port directly in the center. Uh, we'll figure that out as we go. But uh, what we've got to do next is build a plate for this. We're going to, of course, drill that hole. But we're going to build a, a plate for this. And... Uh, the plate will actually be the bottom section of our steam chest and it'll have three holes in it. It'll have one in the center and then one at each end and I may do slot holes, you know, rectangular holes in it. We'll, uh, we'll see as we go. But, uh, you know, all we've got to do is build that plate and then the, the D-valve will go over top of that and, and block off holes. And, uh, you know, we'll just slowly work with it from there. We'll do the bottom plate, sides, top, you know, and then get our rod set up. So. Uh, no plans we'll just do it as we go uh, and like i said we've got to get these blocked off yet so i'll show you more later this is part one and part two we'll go ahead and get the plate made